been through thousands of battles. Hardened and sharpened your reflexes. You see the battle like a game of chess. Experience the zen of armored combat. And mastered scouting. All that has led to this moment. Now you're ready. It's time to introduce the best tank in the galaxy. Meet the merciless Sniper One. If you don't believe us, here's the proof. Let's start with survivability. This tank has a whopping 100 hit points, just like characters in most competitive games. You don't want more hit points than necessary, do you? As you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. No hoax, it's just the moral support group. And it's hard to chip away at these 100 hit points. This tank has unique armor with no vulnerabilities. While others can be shot through their lower glacis plate or commander's cupula, the merciless sniper stands strong. The cupula, the lower glacis plate, the sides and rear, all covered with steel as strong as the front. The MS-1 is like Achilles, but without a heel. All right, all right, some enemies might have more than 16 millimeters of penetration. But after seeing this video, nobody will even try shooting you. Everyone will know that the MS-1 is covered by impenetrable armor. This is just the beginning of the Merciless Sniper's advantages. Its specific power is the second best this tier. It's even more important than being the fastest. There's always someone out there who sees the enemy and gets destroyed first. Well, if you lose, of course you have the right to blame them. Anyway, you have the ability to sneak up to an oblivious enemy, quickly build up some speed, and ram them right back into their garage. If you want to be a hero, all you need is speed. Maneuvers and flanking are for the weak-willed. Furthermore, the MS-1's top speed is very good for ramming when moving forwards. As for backwards, why drive in reverse if the enemy's in front? A true Soviet tank wouldn't want to fall back. And you won't need to perform a U-turn when closing in on a target. The only drawback of the vehicle is that the designers forgot to remove the ability to reverse and turn. But this won't stop you from being a hero. If ramming doesn't work for some reason, try shooting. There are two guns for you to choose from. That's one more than the FV-4005 has. It's cool and all, but it brings up an age-old argument. Who would win, the chicken or the egg? Star Wars or Star Trek? A shark or a rhino? A machine gun or the 45 mm Any expert would bet on the 45 mm gun, and on the shark, and on Star Wars. This gun can penetrate anything, even the mouse. This was useful in the good old times when the MS-1 played in platoons with Tier 10s, as a lucky charm of sorts. But we know what it's actually capable of. Your enemy will need luck. The gun deals a staggering 58,320 damage per hour, and each shot deals a whopping 47 damage. This is amazing because 47 is like, uh, like Agent 47 from Hitman, or like the well-known Russian assault rifle. Alpha damage, suitable for an alpha tank. Hey, just between us, 
This gun is the reason why you can't play in platoons with a large tier difference anymore. The Merciless Sniper is too strong against Tier 10 vehicles. However, while the gun is aiming, you can manage to make a cup of tea, raise your kids, and reach them how to play the game, just to shoot in that general direction. But this firepower doesn't require aiming and hitting targets. Instead, you can just use your gun depression to menacingly look down at your victims from above. Your gaze will make the enemy peacefully return to their garages. Before its triumph, the Merciless Sniper always lurks in the shadows. Its concealment is a lot better than on the invisible E-25. Well, it's better stationary than the moving German TD. But who cares? What's important is that you won't see the Merciless Sniper before it shoots. And after it shoots, spotting it will be the last thing you do. The real strength of the tank is not its concealment. It's not even the armor or the awesome gun. The Merciless Sniper has an ace in the hole. It's its tail. It can trick the enemy into shooting at you, and you can even store your shopping bags on it. Just try not to focus on it too much, it can get distracting in the heat of battle. You can also try to use it properly to pass trenches and ditches. What's great is that no other high-tier vehicle can boast anything as cool as this. This is what makes MS-1 such a unique and strong vehicle. This tail is its crown jewel. I'm sure you won't regret buying the Merciless Sniper. I mean, it costs zero credits. Zero! Have you ever heard about investing nothing and getting a package that contains everything for relentless domination? Don't even think about spending credits for equipment and consumables. Why would you? You wouldn't try to improve the Mona Lisa. can't improve the main part of the tank anyway. It's a perfect work of art, just like the merciless Sniper 1 itself.